Welcome back, sir. Thank you. Thanks and for having before, me, Chuck. Look, I know you just got off a conference call with reporters talking about Sanders and a negative ad, and I will get to that in a minute. But I want to start with the polling here. Three polls for us in our business, that's a trend in Iowa. What's happening? Or, uh, do, you, or do you not believe them? Well, first of all, if you, if you take the poll uh, you just showed, uh, uh, the Des Moines Register poll, which a lot of people uh, mm -hmm. consider uh, excellent because Ann Sells has been doing it for a long time. And if you would have put the previous two months on, what you would have seen is the December poll was a bit of an outlier. We told journalists, and I think you might have been on the call mm -hmm. back in late October, early November, that both of these states were going to be very close. They mm -hmm. always are. And what happened in October and November was those leads were five and six points. So what you're seeing now is the race pretty much uh, within range of where it's been since October. December uh, might have been a bit of an outlier. We expected it to be close in both these states. We've been uh, through this before. I've been through it. Well, you, know, you were through uh, it on the other side. <laughs> on the other side yeah. in 2007 in fact, and 8. In and fact, look, one other point, Chuck, about the poll. Yeah. And Ann Selzer yeah. said this herself. The trend in Iowa is that the closer this election gets, it gets more volatile Right. not more settled. And so we've got a lot of campaigning to do between now and caucus day. You know, there was an interesting stat